What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Mr. Golden Guru, and welcome back to another um, picks with your boy. So, uh, also, I got two online rink matches coming for you guys later today. Woke up early, got the job done. We're going to continue to get the job done, man. So, uh, I have Lions gameplay for you guys, and then... Um, who did I go with? I think the Eagles. Lions and Eagles gameplay coming for you guys later. So, to begin off this Thursday night, which is uh, tonight. Let me take a sip of this white Gatorade real quick. Take a sip of this white cherry. So, to begin Thursday night, we have the Jaguars at the Titans. Jaguars are coming in at 2-4. and four. The Titans are coming in at 3-4. and four. I'm going to go on ahead and roll with the Titans. Jaguars don't really have too much to uh, impress me, um, even though they're better than us. I know Jaguar fans are like, these were better than the Niners. This is true. This is true. But at least we cannot lose this week because we have a bye. So next week we have the Redskins at the next week. Next game, we have the Redskins at the Bungles. And we're going to go with the Redskins at this one. Uh, hopefully uh, Jordan Reed is actually able to play. I don't know if you guys uh, know that. Um or not? I'm not really sure. Actually, he's on my fantasy team. Let me hog on. Let me hog on, log on to my team real quick and go ahead and take a look. See if he's uh. So yeah, he had a uh, light practice. Uh, let me see. According to Washington Post, managers read the stress team take part in the drills, but the concussion protocol remains his home. Yada yada yada. Not really sure. He's obviously a very big factor. It's one of the best tight ends in the NFL. So not really sure if he's going to go on ahead and uh, participate this week. Definitely a, a big weapon. Hopefully he comes back soon. Um, the Bengals are you know, still a good team. By no means are they a bad team, but uh, we got the Redskins on that one. The Chiefs at the Colts, we're going to go with the Chiefs on this one and going and raising the record to 5-2 and two over the Colts. Uh, the Colts... Definitely just a team that looks up and down. One minute they look like the 49ers. Next minute they look like they deserve to win the conference, you know, their division and, and head to the playoffs. It's wishy-washy with them. A little too inconsistent for my liking. Uh, we got the Chiefs over the Colts. Next up we got the Cardinals over the Panthers. The Panthers 1-5. I mean... What else can you say about that? Just a disgusting start to the season after making it to the Super Bowl and going on ahead and uh, was very close to finishing undefeated last year. So uh, it's just night and day compared to where they were last year to this year. Um, and the Cardinals had a very tough uh, week last week going on ahead and tying uh, or drawing, I should say, with the Seahawks. Uh, but we're going to go with the Cardinals on this one. Panthers just look, they've, they've just looked terrible. They've just looked really, really bad. I mean, the record speaks for themselves. Uh, although they are catching a very beat down Cardinals that went ahead and played a very long game, very tough battle against uh, Seattle. So uh, I, d I don't think too many people, even though I doubt there are already anybody like really, truly healthy, you know, but... After that long, excruciating game, definitely feeling like uh, they're just going to go really, really nicked up and banged up. But I still have the Cardinals over the Panthers. The Raiders over the Bucks. We're going to go on ahead and go with the Raiders on this one and say they improved to 6-3. and three. The Seahawks at the Saints. It, it, it hurts my heart more than any team choosing the Seahawks to win. I, it just hurts my heart. I don't like picking the Seahawks. They smell. They stink. The Seahawks stink. The Seahawks fans stink. The 12th man stinks. Their logo smells. Do you think I'm playing? If you happen to have something Seahawk in your house, why would you? I have no idea. But if you happen to have anything Seahawk in your house, scratch it and smell it. It's going to stink. But they're a very good football team, and we're going to choose them over the Saints. The Texans at the Lions. We're going to go on ahead and roll with the Texans. I, I keep choosing the Texans every week. And they keep letting me down every week. And I feel like this is the week where I'm actually right about the Texans. We have the Texans over the Lions. The Patriots and the Bills. Not really sure if McCoy is going to go on ahead and play. 
Um, even if he did, I didn't. I don't see the Bills winning, but I see them contesting, staying in it for a little bit. If McCoy is good to go, healthy and able to dominate, like he's been doing this year, he's been doing very, very good. Um, but the Patriots again, Brady's on a mission. The team just looks scary good. Um, I, I just would not want to see Brady on my schedule coming Sunday, and I, I can see them putting up 45 this week. The Jets at the Browns. The Jets. The Chargers against the Broncos, and the Broncos are five and two. The Chargers are three and four. As we got a text message, and I'm going to read this aloud. No, no, you want to know what would cheer me up? A house of wedding in a box of this. <laughs> uh, my fiance, she's having a rough day at work. So I text her, is there anything I can do to cheer her up? She said, you know what would cheer me up? A house, a wedding, and a box of this. A box of fruit clusters, cranberry almond. My baby wants a box. That means I'm going to have to hop on Amazon. And get her a box of those. Why? Because she's my baby and I love her and I love to make her happy. The house and wedding we're working on. Uh, but we're going to go with the Broncos on this one. The Chargers, they can make a, pace, a case they can be undefeated. <coughs> Chargers are, you know, a very good team that, you know, just kind of swept under, you know, <coughs> the rug a little bit. You know, because the you know, offense is good. Their defense, you know, they're playing good. They're just not closing out the games that, you know, they should have won. But nonetheless, the Broncos, though, are, you know, still an amazing defense. <coughs> We're going to roll with the Broncos. Sunday, we got a very good game between the Packers and Falcons. And we are going to go on ahead and roll with the Packers. Finally, Dodgers went ahead and passed beyond 300 yards, which was a lot of uh, talk about that coming up, that he hasn't passed for 300 yards in quite some time. And he was able to do that last week. And the Falcons, good offense, but I just feel like the Packers' offense is just a little better. Even though Rodgers had, what, like five 5,000 pass attempts? Crazy, right? He had a lot of pass attempts. I think they had three receivers with 10 receptions or more, which which is crazy. They threw the ball a lot, but that is a, an offense that they're one of the few that I believe can be successful <clears throat> throwing the ball that much. Rodgers is that good. Their offensive weapons are that good. Where I feel like if Rodgers passes for 50 times a game, they can win. That, that's just how good I think their offense is. Not saying that's recommended, <laughs> but, you know, if he's able to, if he's, uh, you know, if that's what's going to happen, then, you know, um, I'm all for it. You know, uh, I think they can win spreading the defense out, <clears throat> passing a ton. And putting up big numbers. So we have the uh, Packers uh, edging the Falcons. Then we have uh, probably the biggest game of the week between the Eagles and Cowboys. Very, very, very big divisional game here. Um, the Eagles and the Cowboys both starting their rookie quarterbacks. A lot of debate going into this week. Who's better, Wentz or Dak? As a 49er fan, I know I would take either one of them. Doesn't really matter which one. <laughs> Um, and Eagles coming off of a, of a good victory of the undefeated, well, then undefeated Vikings and, um, tough game here, tough game, but we are going to go on ahead and roll with the Eagles to beat the Cowboys. The Cowboys have looked great this year. And at one point I had said, if Romo comes back and he's able to play, you have to go Romo. Dak is going to have his time. He looks like a star in the making. Understand that you're going to have 10 plus years of him. Romo right now gives you the edge to win. The veteran go with him. I have to retract that statement, man. I, well, it, it, dep it depends on how he looks this week. <clears throat> if Dak is able to play well this week. When is Romo coming back anyways? Isn't he supposed to come back soon? If Dak is coming and playing well and does good against the Eagles and they win, I think Romo's got to go. Uh, uh, between Romo or Dez, I'm positive one of them are, is not coming back next year um, because they're showing that they can win without either one of them. So more likely, probably be Romo because Dez is a star. You know, uh, and, and Romo, not saying Romo's bad. Romo's a star too. Who are we kidding? A lot of people hate on Romo. Romo's a top 10 quarterback. Romo's a, a beast. Let, let's be honest. As much as you may want to hate him or whatever, Romo's a monster. Um, but, you know, 36 years old, 
Dak is looking amazing. You don't need Romo if Dak is playing this well. So they definitely probably going to move him and get something. But uh, if he does good this game, I don't even th say they have to win. But if he does good against the Eagles, I think you just got to roll with Dak the remainder of the year. But we are going to go with the Eagles against the Cowboys on this one. Tough game. I mean, it's a coin flip. You can look for it. You can go for either of the one. It's a tough one, but we're going ahead and roll with the Eagles. The Vikings at the Bears. I mean, who are we kidding? We got the Vikings. So, to go on ahead and uh, go over everything, we have the Titans over the Jaguars, Redskins over the Bengals, Chiefs over the Colts, Cardinals over the Panthers, Raiders over the Bucks, Seahawks over the Saints, Texans over the Lions, Patriots over the Bills, Jets over the Browns, Broncos over the Chargers, Packers over the Falcons, the Eagles over the Cowboys, and the Vikings over the Bears. So, that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section which one you guys agree or disagree with and why. It's your boy, Jesse. See you guys next video. Peace!